Hey, what's up my Diversity in Cinema Academy fam? If you're new to my channel, I'm Theta Catalan and this is the place to be if you're an aspiring filmmaker, video creator, and screenwriter. So today's video is going to be all about how to get your movie, short film, podcast, or you know, a plethora of other, you know, video related content on IMDb. And if you've been rejected, I'm going to give you some pointers on why it's possibly getting rejected and what you need to do in order to fix that, okay? So, you're probably wondering what exactly is IMDb? Now, IMDb is a database of all the movies that have been released globally. And that's where you can get information about the, the title, the budget, the cast and crew, um, how it did at the box office and it has reviews and so much more. And so the reason why you want your film on IMDb is because it's kind of like your resume as well, because people who are looking to work with you, that's where they go. When they want to start doing a little bit of research on you, they're going to head on over to IMDb besides some other stuff too, like LinkedIn. A lot of people go to LinkedIn, whether y'all know it or not. If you don't have a LinkedIn page, go on and get that set up too. But that's for another video. <laughs> so that's the reason why you want a IMDb title page for your film. And another reason why, and it's kind of like a catch-22, especially when I start giving you some details on how your film is supposed to be eligible for IMDb, here's the deal. So say, for instance, if you want to work with a particular director or actor or, you know, just anybody for your film, especially if they are of a certain, you know, stature, then they're going to probably go to your, then it's not a probably, they will go to your IMDb and they're going to look to see if that movie is even in existence. And then you're going to be like, well, Theta, if I can't get it on there because they keep rejecting me, then how they talent agents and whoever who researching me, how they going to be able to see that the film is legit? And so there's some ways around that. And we're going to talk about that today okay so before i do a tutorial on how to get your film on imdb let's go over some of that eligibility stuff so we're gonna head on over to the imdb page now okay so once you have googled imdb and click the link is going to bring you to this home page right here now just so you know as a contributor to imdb you must have a username and password so as soon as you try to put any type of information into imdb is going to prompt you to either create an account or log in all right so what i want you to do when you come to imdb i want you to come to this menu and here you can see that where the contributor zone is at and you can click on that and then once you click on that it gives you some information about what is a contributor and it's just basically somebody who's putting information on imdb and then um here this is where a lot of new filmmakers get tripped up or motivated i'm gonna say motivated because we're ready we're ready to just start entering stuff and then you go you're gonna come straight over here to how to add a new title and then you're gonna go ahead and when you click that it's gonna take you directly to the, the application page and you start entering your information but you haven't read any of the eligibility information that you need to know so that's how a lot of people end up getting rejected because they didn't know the rules of what they allow on their site right so we're gonna go over that today so you won't get tripped up in that area where you, you know you're just adding stuff to the site and then it's getting rejected and then your feelings are getting hurt and i've been there <laughs> uh because like wait a minute why i got rejected everybody else getting their stuff on and my stuff not getting on and you be like lord have mercy i me okay they they messing with me they're not messing with you they got rules y'all here we're gonna come to the help center so let's learn a little bit before we put this on okay so once you come to the help center, you're going to come to this area here for contributors because you're obviously wanting to know information on how to contribute to the website. And then you're going to come over here to titles and we're going to come over to this one saying adding a new title. Okay. 
and see when you come here it pulls up information on how to get started and it gives you the guidelines so one of the first guidelines is checking eligibility of the title so the type of things that you can put on imdb is movies tv whether that's streaming services or just re regular cable television tv specials tv special movies because you know they have tv movies and they have you know um theatrical releases and then dvds and blu-rays documentaries commercials podcasts online videos video games sporting award events audiobooks, music videos. So those are the type of titles that they accept. So the things that are not included are books, music tracks without video, theater productions, which is have, they're not unfilmed. So if you, you've had yours filmed and you're releasing it to, you know, DVD or some kind of streaming platform, then that will count. And then radio shows. The next thing that you're going to check eligibility for is public interest so for a work to be eligible it has to have a general public interest and should be available to the public so basically your home videos don't count so if you got a whole bunch of home videos and you want to put it on there they're not going to accept it <laughs> all right so here are some of the qualifications that would make your film eligible to be put on imdb which is to be released in cinemas shown on tv available on a streaming service like amazon prime netflix and youtube listed in the catalog of an established video retailer like amazon online videos video games it's been accepted and shown at film festivals and when they mention film festivals it has to be a recognizable Film festival. So the next thing that we're going to discuss is proving the title exists. All right. So just because you say, all right, I, I, I'm eligible so far. Great, great. Your film is eligible, but now you got to prove it. <laughs> okay. So here's the suitable evidence that they would accept, which would be third party news articles. That would be something like you sent a press release to deadline, you know, one of the trades and, you know, they put out an official announcement that, you know, the film is in development or it's heading into pre-production or whatever phase of production that you're in, or if you landed a certain actor you know and you sent that press release to one of the trades and then online tv schedule a link to the title on online retailers like i mentioned with amazon um mentions from reputable sources so again that is anything that you can find online like if it's some um, critic or if it's another news article blog um you know but it has to be reputable and then a link to a title on a streaming platform the trailer the behind the scenes video and then the in production steals so that is how you can provide evidence that your film is real now unsuitable evidence um official social media pages so like say for instance if you set up an instagram twitter or facebook page and you got pictures you know like a little post or something just where you just put all of your information at which is a good thing to do as well but they're not going to accept that because that's just you 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 made that up right so they, they're not going to accept that and then the production company home page so if you have your own website and you have all of the information on there and you submitted that they're not going to accept that because again that's you you're putting that stuff out there so they don't know for sure the same thing with the crowdfunding sites and then uh user maintained sites like wikipedia because you know all of us can be contributors to wikipedia because they really want the film to be already released and the reason why is because a lot of films can start development and never finish they can be good all the way into pre-production but now they don't have the rest of the money so it doesn't they don't finish they can be in production but ran out of money and it never finished so they really want it to be a released film so you're probably thinking but theta i i want my film on there before it's even released because you want to be able to show talent managers that this is an actual legit film so they were like okay this is a film that is moving into production if you want to put your film on imdb when you're in development or in production or in pre-production 
you need to first have an IMDB Pro membership. Now let's take a look at the criteria that you need to fall under in order to get your film on IMDB during the production development phase. They need to be sure that they can validate that is a real project. So you need to have evidence such as, again, announcements in the media and trades that this film is going into production, that you have interviews with the cast and crew members confirming the status of the project, casting notices, evidence of development deals, etc. Another thing that's a huge benefit is if you're already working with an established producer who have released multiple films that have had distribution, they take that into consideration as well. So say for instance, with my second film, Flashes, well, I only had one film at that time and I was I kept getting rejected. And I was like, man, why they keep rejecting me? And so I finally had my, uh, my producing partner, which was also my director of photography, I had him submit for the title. So uh, yeah, I had him do it and boom, they accepted it. So that is another way. So if you're looking for a way around it a little bit, that can be a way of doing it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to submit a new title to the site. Like I told you, it's relatively easy to do. So, you would have just clicked on that. Basically right here is the application part of it where you'd be entering and stuff. So say for instance, if I wanted to put this movie Connie in, then um, that's the project I'm working on. <laughs> then you would put the title there. Then you would click film. And as you can see, it can be a feature film, short documentary, etc. And And here's all your other choices that you can choose. And then you can also update the status of it. So you can say whether it's released and screened already. And then obviously you'll pro provide the evidence for that. And then you could put, put completed and only limited non-public screening. So that's friends, family, fellow students, faculty members. Um, you can put completed, but not shown anywhere. And then you can put in production and you can also put in development. So these are your choices. So Connie will be in development because it is currently in the script stage, right? So here, right here, you can see pitched, option property, treatment, outline, turnaround. Um, you start saying pitch, they might be a little, with you being, if you're a brand new indie filmmaker, they probably won't respond much to that because it's like, you, you just basically, that's just, you have an idea. <laughs> so um, they might not respond to that. So you need to at least be in the, the script stage. All right. And then you would just say who you are. So I am a producer director. And then you would even say for later, if you want to, you don't want to update it now, or then you would say, check these updates. Once you do that, it's going to pop up to this page because it wants a little bit more information because it wants to know what type of film it is. So whether it's a feature length film or a short project. So this is going to be a feature length film. And then you would check these updates again. And then now it is giving you an alert. So this yellow is saying that, hey, we have some warnings. I need you to check this out. So this title has warnings. And it, what it's saying is we already have titles which are similar to Connie. So see, there are other movies with that same film. So they want to know if it's one of these titles or if it's new. So this is not an existing title would be that for me. And then you will recheck these updates. And so I don't want to push it any further because I'm not ready to put this film on IMDb yet. So I can just save this for later. Then you'll be wait basically waiting for an email from um, IMDb saying whether or not they accepted it or rejected. And that can take, you know, a couple of weeks, but I'm going to give you a quick look at how to submit evidence for your film's title on imdb links to other sites this is something 
that you definitely need to update because this is the important stuff in order to make you eligible to be on the site. So when you say, oh yeah, I got an article that I can show them, then you will come over here to the miscellaneous link. And then if you have however many articles there are, you just click one of these you'd be like yeah i got three articles deadline and i got variety and whichever other trade that you submitted it to then you would put those links there and if you have any official sites you'll put your you know website there and then you would also put any images or photos sound clips video clips you know all of that would go right here in this area so this is a very important part of adding your film to imdb and then the production development status is important so you would do that you know and add an item there because you want to know let them know what phase of production you are in okay so that was a real quick nitty-gritty demonstration of how to get your film on imdb pro so if you have any other questions for me be sure to let me know in the comments i am more than happy to answer any questions that you have on getting your film on imdb all right so if you want to learn more about breaking into the film industry i suggest checking out this video right now